It's bad news for black-footed ferrets. Cuts to federal staffing have taken their toll across the nation as people lose their livelihoods and programs shut down. But this small mammal faces a problem unique to them, extinction. The Blackfooted Ferret Recovery Program, administered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and responsible for helping to keep its namesake animal in the wild, is on the chopping block. There are only about 500 ferrets in the wild, and their endangered status is the reason why over the last two decades, federal, state, tribal, and non-government partners have worked together to both finance and conduct field work to combat sylvatic plague, the number one threat to their existence. Defenders has long advocated for this life-saving federal funding, and combined with our donor dollars and field support, our conservation community has been able to conserve large expanses of prairie dog acres, habitat needed for ferret survival. Federal funds now in jeopardy have also gone a long way to incentivize private landowners to maintain active prairie dog acres for ferrets and a host of other wildlife. Without federal funding, we could see the loss of over half of the remaining wild black-footed ferret population in the U.S. this year. To learn more, go to defenders.org.